It's official, Aries. It's only 10 a.m., but you've already faced your worst fears and eaten your demons for breakfast. Nothing, and we mean nothing, scares you anymore. You're making your way into 2020 for armed with courage and with confidence, not the same as cockiness. You want to walk your path fearlessly, fight for the causes you believe in and inspire those around you to manifest their most magnificent life. This week, you're being encouraged to take initiative in the realm of romance as well. Overheard at the Cosmic Conference, subtlety isn't working in your favor, beautiful. Yuga isn't just about contorting your body into pretzel-like postures. It's about who you are off the mat. It's about how you move through life. So, how do you move through life, Taurus? Do you consciously put positive thoughts out there and trust the universe to meet you halfway or doubt yourself and your relationship with spirit? If there's one thing you should know as you enter 2024, it's that you are where you are supposed to be and that you will continue to thrive, beautiful. Many spiritual breakthroughs are on the cards for you this year. You've moving into 2024 with regret in your heart. But is this regret serving you, Gemini? It's time to bring lightness and brightness back into the narrative, beautiful. To let go of the old story and the pain associated with it. Word for the wise, the waning moon is an excellent time to do some release work. Oh, and one more thing. Send that apology note you've been thinking about for a while now. But what do asterisk you asterisk quant? Cancer. How do you envision you're together forever? Now is not the time to sulk about what went wrong. It's time to have an open and honest conversation about what you wish to co-create with them in the new year. They're more receptive than you give them credit for. Crabs who are entering into a business partnership are being encouraged to read the offer document carefully so you're both on the same page about the vision and the mission. You've been here before, Leo. You've been here many times before. How dare you doubt yourself or the potential of what you can co-create? Know that you have all the divine support you need at this moment. If finances have been a cause of concern, shift your vibration from lack to abundance and set an intention for the wealth plus good juju you want to call in. At the same time, stay committed to your mission and be willing to put in the work required to expand your queendom, kingdom. Your words are the spell, your energy is the spell, and your faith is the secret sauce that's making your wildest dreams take form in the physical realm. So, keep shining in all the ways you're being called to. Keep flexing your manifestation muscles as you move through life, Virgo. At the same time, remember an attitude of gratitude will make you a magnet for all the sweet nectar the universe has to offer you. Oh, and one more thing. If financial struggles were a constant in the past year, trust that things will take a turn for the better soon. You've been here before, Libra. You've been here many times before. And you know that every time things didn't work out, as per your expectations, it's because spirit had something ten times more magical and magnificent in store for you. So, let it go. Let go of your false sense of control and jump back into the flow. Oh, and one more thing. Don't fret about that certain someone you didn't quite kiss under the mistletoe. Cupid's got many serendipitous encounters planned for you. Trust yourself and trust your path even if you can't see the destination from where you are standing. For now, focus on taking one step at a time. If you're currently mourning the loss of something or someone, allow yourself to feel the ickiness and stickiness of it all without making grief a permanent part of your story. By accepting, without judgments, what your inner landscape is revealing to you, you will be able to make a profound shift. Beautiful. It gets better. It gets better with each passing year. This is something you are beginning to realize, Sagittarius. You now possess the wisdom required to deal with life's challenges without making the challenges a part of your story. You understand that you cannot change your external environment or circumstances. The only thing you can do is be asterisk you asterisk, embody your truth, and live an authentic life. Overheard at the Cosmic Conference, may equanimity become your superpower this year. Aren't you tired? Capricorn? Aren't you tired of this endless race to get to the top? Patience and persistence have always been your superpower. However, you tend to get so caught up in the rat race that you forget to partake in the simple pleasures 
that life has to offer. So, just for today, get off the hamster wheel. Stop and smell the roses. Feel the earth underneath your feet. As you reconnect with your body and your breath, send out an intention for what you want to call in. Saying yes to pleasure is a good place to start. Beautiful. What if we said, the universe is offering you a blank slate right now? What if we said that you have the creative license required to paint the canvas of your life with the brightest and boldest colors? Aquarius, consider this soul scope as a reminder to break free. To break free from the idea of who you are supposed to be. As you begin your inward journey, something tells us you will uncover many jewels. On this sacred pilgrimage you are about to embark upon, 2023 felt like one karmic lesson after another, and quite frankly you're tired of doing the work. What you want to do today is to be and to breathe. To enjoy the simple pleasures life has to offer, like sharing a cup of tea with your fam or watching the sunset from your rooftop. Currently untethered? Reserve a table for one at your favorite place and savor the sweetness of being in this moment. Oh, and in case you're wondering what your 2020 for resolution should be, think more joy, more pleasure and more play.